Greetings, my friend. Welcome to Arcadia, home of shepherds, sheep, and sh uh, manure. Why, I'm Marcos, of course, one of the most successful merchants in all of Greece. You really haven't heard of me? My name is known from Kefalonia to Kos. If you've ever paid money for something, I probably received a percentage. But enough about me. Let's go back to what you're doing here. I recently made an offer to buy some nearby farmland. Unfortunately, the owner refused, based on completely unsubstantiated rumors that I once burned down three farms in Kos. Can you believe it? I've never burned down a farm in my life. I may have once paid someone else to do so, but I assure you, my reasons were entirely acceptable and in the best interest of everyone involved. Arcadia was well known for its sublime natural vistas. Farmers and shepherds were seduced by its beauty, and it's easy to see why. I have to leave for now, but I'll meet you again when you finish your visit. Until then, my friend! Grain was a staple of the Greek diet, to the point where Homer referred to his compatriots as mortal eaters of bread. Grain farming was a meticulous process. Due to dry summers, artificial irrigation was impossible, so farmers had to rely on rainfall to water their crops. This gave them very narrow windows for sowing and harvesting. On a farm of this size, only half of the field would be planted every year, while the other half would lie fallow to avoid exhausting the soil. According to the poet Hesiod, the best time to sow grain was in autumn, and the best time to harvest it was in May. Fortunately, if farmers missed their opportunity, they also had a chance to plant millet in the spring. Before planting in a field, the land needed to be plowed a total of three times. Once in the spring to remove weeds, again in the summer to aerate the soil, and a final time in the winter to plant the seeds in the moist earth. The plow was pulled by two oxen, while the sowing of seeds was done by hand. After the seeds were planted, a boy turned the soil with a hoe to protect them from hungry birds. Once the sowing was finished, the farmers waited for winter rains to irrigate the field. They also prayed to the goddess of agriculture, Demeter, and her daughter, Persephone, in the hopes of being favored with a bountiful harvest come springtime. Grain was harvested in the spring using a curved knife called a sickle. With their backs to the wind, the reapers cut the plant stalks and left the sheaves behind before moving through the rest of the crop. Once the harvest was mowed, the sheaves were brought to the threshing floor.
animal husbandry was an important part of Greek agriculture. Farmers usually kept cattle, donkeys, sheep, goats, pigs, dogs, geese, and chickens. The animals mostly fed in pastures, but could also eat some of the farm's harvested grain, as well as damaged fruit and residue from olive oil and wine production. Livestock had several purposes. Their manure was used to fertilize the fields, and their grazing helped remove weeds. Arcadia was a mountainous region believed to be the home of the god Pan, so farmers were more likely to keep sheep and goats than cattle. Most farming tools were simple, handmade implements made of wood and occasionally tipped with iron. The most complicated tool was the plow, which was made up of several parts, including a beam, a drawbar, and a yoke. A two-pronged hoe, meanwhile, was used for tilling soil, and farmers also had tools for digging and weeding. After the sheaves were harvested, workers brought them to the threshing floor to extract the grain. Oxen or donkeys were hitched to a post in the center of the floor and guided around it, while workers threw sheaves under their hooves. The animals stomping forced the grain kernels out of their casings. Afterwards, the kernels were collected for the winnowing process. Winnowing helped separate the heavier grain seeds from the chaff. It began with using a wooden shovel to toss the grain. While in the air, the wind blew away the lighter chaff, leaving only the heavier grain. To remove the remaining chaff, the grain was tossed in a wooden basket called a lignon, which filtered the grain until only clean kernels remained. Barley, which was used to make flour, was different from other types of grain. Threshing was not enough to separate the barley from its husk. So instead, it was roasted in a specialized tool called a frigatron. After the barley was roasted, it was pounded with a mortar and pestle. The pounded grain was then ground into a meal using either a hand mill or a hopper mill. Grinding was boring work. So workers 
often lightened the mood with a mill song. Once the barley was completely ground, it was sieved using a wicker basket called a koskinon, making it ready for use. Grain storage areas needed to be dark, dry, cool, contained, and well ventilated to prevent the grain from spoiling. According to Hesiod, the preferred method of storing grain was in a pithos, the same container as Pandora's mythological box. Archaeological evidence suggests that Greeks may have also stored grain in small, walled structures woven from branches. Farms generally needed to store enough grain to sustain themselves for the year and seed corn for the next. Any surplus was either stored for a lean year or sold to markets for profit. My friend, good to see you again. You must feel hungry. I know I would, spending all that time watching farmers working themselves to the bone. Now, what else can I do for you? If you say so, let's get started. According to Isiodos, what was the best month to start harvesting grain? January was far too wet for grain harvesting. Try another answer. Fall was the preferred time to plant the seeds, not to harvest the grain. Keep trying. Close, but a little bit too early. Try again. Yes, spring was the ideal time for harvesting. Guess I'm not the only smart one around here. Time for another question. Which tool did reapers use to cut stocks? Holes were used to till the soil, not cut the stocks. Keep trying! No, that probably would have resulted in a lot of accidental maiming. Ouchie! Try another! No, the plow was used to prepare the soil. Try again! Yes, a sickle was a curved knife, making it ideal for harvesting sheaves of grain. Only one question left. Arcadia was believed to be the home of which god? Panakia was Asclepios' daughter and didn't really have a connection to Arcadia. Keep trying though, my friend. Zeus preferred Mount Olympus over the mountains of Arcadia. Try a different answer. Athena was the patron of Athens. She didn't even live in Arcadia. Try again. Correct. Pan supposedly called the mountainous region his home. 
Incredible work, my friend. It's safe to say your mind is definitely more wheat than chaff. Safe travels, my friend. We'd better be seeing each other again soon.